I grew up with the belief that work shall set you free. Work was what you did. And now I've had to change that belief because hard work is not enough. So I'm the storyteller in the crowd. I am not the person who can tell you the demographics. In fact, I'm going to tell you about the day it went to shit for me. And also give you the experience I've had of working in financial services for 26 years. So I promise to make this worth your while because what I want to talk to you about today is really your story. Life was good, but it was built on a house of cards. And I have to say, quite honestly, I didn't realise that at the time. I actually thought in my heart, it's all going to work out. We had an income and we had access to incredible amounts of credit because we earned a lot of money, but credit is not wealth. If money is sexy, why is financial services boring and how do we bring more people to the industry? I can't stand here and not do something about it. The people in finance are just so smart but the shittest communicators you will ever find. I've spent my life trying to put common language and, and then get people to understand how to make money work, how to make the finance industry work for them, how to trust the finance industry. I don't want stress in my 70s and 80s. I don't want it. And I don't want it for any of you. But who knows what's coming? The only thing certain is that there is going to be uncertainty. Welcome to my new course around money and your kids. In this course, we're going to talk about improving your relationship with money. The days of saving up for a house and putting savings in the bank are gone. I think we're going to see some very, very sad and tough stories and people that need real grit to reinvent themselves. It's a pretty crucial time in Australia's history because the fact is, in the next 20 years, we're going to see the biggest wealth transfer, $3 trillion, happen in our nation's history. And I have to say, it's one of the biggest thrills of my life to get and sit to talk to you, so thank, thank you, you so much. That is, without a doubt, the reason why some people succeed and others don't. You don't have to be smarter, you don't have to be faster, better looking, richer, you just have to get up every time you are knocked down. But I'm certainly not going to steal from future me who is older, less able to hustle, less fit, my health may not be as good. It's funny, I'm standing here in feathers. How could anyone think I had an ego? There were three critical mistakes that I made around money that as much as I'd had a masterclass from all these people around the world, what I'd really needed was a financial masterclass. What I'm really passionate about is the effect money has on people, the conversations you can have around money that really show people's soul. If we can bring the average Australian to financial services and have them learning and engaging with their wealth so they don't have to work as hard for as long, then that's an amazing opportunity. In 25 years when I'm 70 and I'm sitting and looking back on my life, my dream is that enough people say, thank God I read your books, thank God I did what I did and saw an advisor, because now I get to live the last 20 years of my life with dignity.